Finally, we're getting what we asked for. We've been asking for years and years, but Assassin's Creed is finally going to Japan. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the new Assassin's Creed game that was announced, Assassin's Creed Shadows. And as I mentioned in the intro, it is going to be taking place in Japan and it's going to follow two main characters. The first one being Yasuke, the first foreigner to reach samurai or uh, warrior status in Japan. And the second one is going to be Naoe, who is a daughter of a historical figure and shinobi Fujibayashi Nagato. We got a trailer for this and it showed a bunch of typical Assassin's Creed things and we got a release date which is going to be November 15th and the main thing that everyone is talking about is why Yasuke? Why, why do they pick this character? The controversy online is that hey why would you set a game in Japan and not pick a Japanese person to be the main character? Others are saying hey why is everybody being racist? It's okay it's Yasuke he was an actual figure he's not like a made up character so it's fine. Regardless of how you feel, we just kind of want to give our thoughts on the game itself and what we would like to see from this game. Me personally, I've been waiting for a game to be set in Japan since the first Assassin's Creed was uh, ever created. I know that was a big thing amongst my table group at our lunches. Like, hey, what would be cool to go to next? Like, what would they do? Uh, one thing was always like, hey, they should go to like modern times and do modern assassins. And then obviously it would come to Japan because we all love Japan. There's weebs here. We want, we want to see that. We want to see samurais. We want to see ninjas. We want to see all of that culture being brought into a game and, and really exploring that, especially with the old school Assassin's Creed style, not the new stuff specifically like Valhalla like that plays a little bit differently than the older games but the older Assassin's Creed games like 1 and 2 want to see that kind of game mechanics come into this game so I'm curious to see how they'll really do that and incorporate that and how interesting it's going to be to play as just like a samurai and not be fully fledged committed to the like assassin role which maybe the other main character now she might play more like an assassin like a ninja type. And they also could do, um, you know, more of the ship battles. That was, uh, I know, a big personal favorite for people who liked Assassin's Creed Black Flag. For me, I could never figure it out, so I really just kind of dropped off from the game at that point because I, I don't know how to fucking drive a ship, okay? Get me off the boat. I don't want to drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. But they very well could explore that option in the game. But also, uh, yeah, the other main question I have for this game is that, is it too late? Did they wait too long to kind of use... Japan as the backdrop for their game. I say that because we already have games like Rise of the Ronin, we have Ghost of Tsushima, we have Neo. Those games are all set sort of in feudal Japan and I feel like those games might, seen what we've seen, have done it better than Assassin's Creed can or will do. So that's the main thing. It's like, are we kind of over that? I know we have plenty of other games set like in America and all that stuff, but that's a little different. I feel like they always choose a specific time in Japan and it, that might be oversaturated at this point. But I would like for them to get back to more of the story driven aspects of Assassin's Creed. That was always my favorite part of the first one and the second one. Just like killing them and then you get like a cutscene where it kind of just like fades everything and you talk to the historical figures. So that would be really cool to see all the, the historical figures in Japan get like their own cutscene and talk about it, you know? Especially with like Shogun and how big it is, maybe we'll see some of those characters. I'm not quite sure if the timeline matches up, probably doesn't, it might be a little bit after the Shogun series, but characters like that who did exist like in uh, Japanese history, do we get to see them? Also, could we possibly see some of like Japanese like mythology, do we get to see like yokai and stuff like that? That would be really interesting to see as well and see where they could possibly push the story further. Like if they do want to kind of go out there, like Red Dead Redemption stays within the world of like the Wild West, but then we get things like Undead Nightmare and aliens and shit like that, so could they possibly lean more that direction? Would they make it a fully fledged open world game? What do they want to do? Do they want to make it more linear? All these questions I have for it, I hope they answer them soon with like the next, you know, reveal trailers and everything like that. But I do like the idea of it so far and I would like to play as a samurai, especially as Yasuke. And if you've seen the anime on Netflix, not the best, but the action was sick. So if we get to see something like that, any type of that action where we're just like going all out samurai and like crazy fucking dodging and, and poking, I'm down for that. I want to see all of that. Give me, give me all of that. When it comes to the Assassin's Creed games, the more recent entries in the series haven't exactly been culturally or historically accurate. And to be honest with you, I mean, I didn't go to it to get a history lesson. They're video games for fun. Do you think that, I don't know, George Washington actually could mind control people and clone himself by the hundreds and used a magic staff to take over America? Do you? 
because that's what we're that's what we're arguing at this point like if if we're really worrying about it that bad otherwise i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal if we're gonna ask historical questions why don't we ask if oda nobunaga is gonna show up right because in history the italians brought over uh, uh yasuke and a deal was struck with oda nobunaga because he liked him so much and they hit it off eventually nobunaga made him one of his bushi and he was brought into the fold at least that's how they write about it in the history books these days uh whatever amalgam of that story they decide to go with i hope they have some fun with it and i really am interested as natives to see how that translates into the gameplay mechanics themselves will yasuke end up being a more straightforward fighter who's a lot stronger and has like higher stun or like critical rate how's that going to translate exactly will it be harder for him to stealth or will he be forced to be an assassin type or you know is that his role to his counterpart anyway because i think that doing the like the samurai ninja approach is good i think if you're going to be there anyway you might as well try to tackle both and splitting it between two characters may be a little bit cleaner story-wise than trying to explain why a, a lord or noble type character is messing around with like farmers and rebels which ninja were at the time and not exactly like magic summoning shadow clone jutsuing folks that being said odyssey did have you fighting the sphinx and the minotaur and other stuff so to, also to nate's point if you end up fighting some yokai and other stuff that would be pretty cool i wouldn't exactly be against it as far as the other points you know i think the game is coming out as part competition to other things with the success of games like rise of the ronin which I wasn't exactly expecting to be a super popular game, but I see people posting about all the time and putting up custom builds and builds inspired by other anime characters. Cool stuff. Um, that may have made them scratch their heads a little bit over at Ubisoft and had them double down with the direction. Uh, there are other games that have taken place in that like warring states, feudal Japan period, past the points of historical accuracy or lack thereof, which again, I don't think really matter all that much. I think we should be looking at why exactly they decided to go the direction of two protagonists. It's not necessarily something that they've not kind of done before, though in the past, they often get split. To be completely honest with you, <laughs> I want to know what like the gear is. I don't even care about like, well, like I care about the gameplay for sure. But like in the past, most recent Assassin's Creed games, you get like animal companions and stuff. I wanna know what the animal companions are. Do you get a hawk? Do you get a wolf? What do you get? Do you get like, do you get a Snooky? Little raccoon dog, little fat raccoon dog, do you? That'd be kinda cool. I don't know. We don't have a lot of answers at the moment, but I think as usual, my stance would be that getting up in arms about certain decisions from an artistic standpoint is not the best approach to take just because it's too early man like you gotta let them show us a little bit more of what they got going on and i mean worst case scenario you don't like it fuck it go play ghost of tsushima or something else i'm gonna play the game probably so so in conclusion your honor i think it's gonna be a fun time if you can look past your racism if you have it in you try your best i know it's hard if you can look past your biases for Assassin's Creed games, if you don't like them, I think we can have a good time if we can just move past that. I know it's hard for some of you out there. But yeah, overall, those are our thoughts and our feelings on the new Assassin's Creed game. Hopefully it's a good time. Otherwise, this video might age terribly. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't, I'm sorry. You can find a different video to watch. But uh, while you're here, you can subscribe and follow. All that stuff is down below for you. And also, you can comment down below, I'm sure you will, uh, your thoughts on the new Assassin's Creed game, on your uh, your thoughts on the, the main characters themselves, the setting, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, until next time, go... I can't say it out loud, because I might end up on a, a watch list from the FBI. But uh, go do something to somebody, you know?